So I came back here to my old stomping grounds, not because I'm going back to visit my old work. Uh, you probably want to know why we can't do that, don't you? Uh, was I fired? Was it... So I've come back here to my favorite parking spot near my old job. Uh, this is just outside of Seattle and uh, it's very close to Tacoma. So technically speaking, I really worked in Tacoma, not Seattle. But for some reason, whenever I would say to somebody that I was working in Tacoma, they would say, you work in a pickup truck? And I'd say, no, Tacoma, Washington. And they would say something like, uh, oh, I'm from Virginia. So I stopped doing that. I stopped talking about Tacoma. I would usually just say that I was working in Seattle because that was the easiest way to get across to people the uh, region here. Washington state is a big state and uh, seems like people know about Seattle but they don't know much about the rest of the state. So let's go drive my old commute that I would take to work every morning and uh, show you what that looked like. Um, it's a very pretty commute most of the time, uh, although we're not going back to my old job uh, for several reasons. Well, this is one of my favorite parking spots I have ever parked at over the years, and I never really wanted to tell anybody about it because uh, I didn't want it to get overrun. It was kind of my secret little spot. It was always really quiet because there were no houses on the one side. Uh, I always had a good quiet place to park and it was only a few miles away from work. So my work commute was usually about five or six minutes is all. So this was my regular morning commute and it'll be a little bit hard to pick it up on camera here but straight ahead behind a tree at the moment but straight up ahead almost is uh, Mount Rainier and it was pretty nice to have uh, such a spectacular view on my morning commutes every day. And I know that a lot of people think that Seattle is rainy all year long and rains every day and, and all, but this is really a typical uh, commute for me. Uh, sunny, clouds off in the distance, of course, but uh, this was pretty typical of my morning commute. So I usually had a nice view of Mount Rainier off in the distance. And we had a pretty good view of Mount Rainier from our building as well. I worked in a warehouse. And at one time, when I first started working there, uh, we were able to leave the doors open and actually get a good view out to the mountain. Now, because we're not heading back to my old work, we can't go back to my old work. Uh, we are gonna go to a store, a Fred Meyer store. Fred Meyer is part of the Kroger chain and it's where everybody shops here. It's a popular place to shop. And I would shop over at this Kroger store quite often because it was in walking distance to my job, uh, which came in handy a few times. Uh, I actually got snowed in and lived in the parking lot at my job. And when I was getting low on food, I actually walked to the store. I should put that in quotation marks that it is in walking distance though, because uh, it was quite a walk. It would take me quite a while to get there, but at least I had the option to do it. Uh, we're lucky right now that traffic is pretty light. Uh, this area has some of the worst traffic I have ever encountered anywhere. Uh, it gets pretty snarly back there. Uh, there's a couple of interchanges that kind of all come together there. And uh, just like I was working in a warehouse here, there are a ton of warehouses in this area. And you've got all this traffic that uh, people are just going to work or leaving work, uh, but also deliveries of tractor trailer trucks to all of these warehouses in this area it just means that this this spot down here gets really backed up from time to time. So we're in the town of Puyallup. This is the town I used to work in. Uh, not far away was the warehouse I used to work in. And again, this is a suburb of Tacoma. So we're quite a ways away from Seattle at this point, uh, much closer to Tacoma. Um, although, uh, in my mind, Tacoma is really kind of a suburb of Seattle, but don't say that to anybody that is either from Tacoma or Seattle because they do not agree with that whatsoever. Seattle and Tacoma are so big that it's hard to tell 
uh, the line that separates them, although they are two different counties, so they are two different places. So you can get after me if you want, but uh, that's just my opinion about Tacoma and Seattle, uh, two very big cities, although again, two different counties. I, I know they're, they're two different places. I get it. But if, if you're not, if you're not from here, they're pretty much the same place. They're really, really about the same. Well, it's really heating up outside. I am enjoying my coffee still, but um, I may not be drinking too much coffee today uh, because it feels like it's going to be a scorcher. So I came back here to my old stomping grounds, not because I'm going back to visit my old work. Uh, again, can't do that. Uh, you probably want to know why we can't do that, don't you? Uh, was I fired? Was it a terrible thing? Did I uh, leave on bad circumstances. Um, we'll talk about that in a moment, but I did come back here to this area because I wanted to come back here specifically to this Fred Meyer location because I need a new mattress for my bed and Fred Meyer sells really good uh, foam mattresses. Uh, they are a simple foam, but they're they're really good and they're perfectly sized for my bed. Uh, they're 30 inches wide and I don't know, 70 some inches long, I forget exactly, uh, but they are the perfect size. So I've had a couple of them over the years and I need a new one now. And I've gone to a couple of other Fred Meyer locations, but they didn't have any uh, or they had very few to choose from. Because this is a larger store, they normally stock a lot more mattresses here at this location. Uh, maybe it has something to do with the fact that we are so close to Mount Rainier and this is on the way to Mount Rainier for a lot of people that are traveling. So that may be another reason why they stock a lot here at this particular location and probably other stores do too. It's just that this was my local store for about four years. So I figured this would be a good place to find the mattress that I'm looking for. And in the past, what I've done is I've just gone in and looked at what they have and they always have different densities to choose from. So I just take one that feels pretty good in my hand. I just flop it on the floor and then I get right down on it, lay right down on it, right there in the aisle and just test it out uh, before I buy it. That's, that's worked very well for me in the past. I certainly didn't have a lack of choice in there. They had a lot to choose from. It did take me a little while to find one that was the Goldilocks of mattresses for me, but did it. And now I'm just going to set this in here for now, find a better place to tear apart the bed and uh, reset it up with the new mattress. Well, I just remembered that I need to get some contact lenses. I'm almost out and my eye doctor is not very far away. So since I'm in this part of town, might as well go over there and do that. Uh, it's not really a better place to take care of the bed situation, but I normally just change out my sheets wherever I need to be. Uh, so I guess uh, going over there is just as good a place to do it too. So we'll do everything over in Federal Way. Uh, funny thing, a friend of mine is a retired police officer and she worked in this area and uh, she, she uh, asked me one time, so where do you hang out after work? And I told her, oh, I usually go over to uh, Federal Way and there's a little store I like to go get dinner at. And uh, she said, Federal Way? You know, we used to call that Felony Way. Don't, don't hang out there. But it's really not that bad. Uh, it's actually a nice little town. So we are taking the scenic route to get here because of that crush of traffic I was talking about earlier. Uh, it gets pretty tight traffic-wise here because of the fact that there are a ton of warehouses in this area as well as the Port of Tacoma and the Port of Seattle and you've got all that movement of goods uh, to and from all those warehouses from those two ports. So this area gets pretty snarly with traffic. So instead of jumping on the 5 freeway, we've taken the kind of more scenic route and got here. As you can see, maybe just barely, uh, we still get a little bit of a glimpse of Mount Rainier off in the distance. Uh, and they have a saying here that the mountain is out when you can actually see the mountain. Uh, again, that gets back to that whole, it's always cloudy and rainy here. It's not. This is really very typical. Looking out there, you can see that the mountain is not always visible because the mountain is usually covered in clouds and rain. But this kind of weather, at least this type of, this time of year, is very, very typical. 
Okay, a slight snafu. Uh, they didn't have them in stock anymore. Well, they had one box in stock. I suspect that in the hour and a half or so, between the time I called and checked to see if they had them in stock and me getting here, they must have sold the other box. So I should have, maybe I should have ordered them online and then picked them up. Oh well, I'll have to stop at another location. Um, I'm not upset about this because we are very close to one of my favorite stores, which is just around the corner. And because it's a little warm out today, um, I think I'm gonna treat myself to lunch at the little store called Marlene's, a little health food store. So Marlene's here is a gem of a little store. Uh, they have two locations, one here in Federal Way and one in Tacoma, but this is the location I would usually frequent because it was so close to my work. I could get here in usually about 15 or 20 minutes and uh, I would treat myself to dinner a lot of times here, get a salad or something else. Uh, something else usually meant one of their pastries. They make uh, really good pies and cakes and all in here. And hopefully they have something like that to choose from today. very good. So maybe a slight mistake to drive out here to Federal Way, but uh, I am happy for the mistake. Uh, happy accidents are always welcome. Um, I've spent a lot of time in this store in the past, so uh, it's nice to kind of revisit it and see it's still the same quality and uh, still nice people that work in there. And no, I have not forgot about my bed and the fact that I need to get that set up, uh, but I did forget to tell you about my old job and why I cannot go back there. The company that I worked for is no longer operating in Washington State, so I can't go back to my old workplace because they're not here anymore. Now, I think this is kind of funny because probably a lot of people are gonna say, oh, so you did work for Amazon and you have concocted the story to uh, say that, oh, I can't take you back to my old work because they don't exist anymore. So you really did work for Amazon. Um, I'm. I'm kidding around here because a lot of my friends and family, even close friends and family, to this day still tell me, why don't you just admit that you work for Amazon? And I'm like, I pull my hair out. I didn't work for Amazon. Maybe I'm being honest and I didn't actually work for Amazon. Maybe that's actually true. Uh, so I, I get that not everybody's going to believe me, but there are so many places to work here because of the two ports. Um, Tacoma port and the Seattle port means that a lot of goods are brought in to the country here. And because of that, there are a ton of warehouse jobs here in both Seattle and Tacoma and then all of the surrounding towns uh, around the area. So uh, if you don't mind warehouse work, this is the place to get it. Uh, but like I said, that company that I was working for just got tired of operating here in the state of Washington, and so they left for the East Coast. Now, this is not unusual because a lot of companies have left Washington State. Uh, a lot of companies have left the West Coast because taxes are high here and they weren't getting tax breaks like they used to, and so they have just kind of defected to another area. And that's what happened to the company that I was working for. And I saw this, I, I saw the writing on the wall that this was gonna happen, and I asked, I asked a few people, and they said, no, we're absolutely not leaving Washington. We have no intention of leaving. And then about two years later, they just all of a sudden told the workers here that uh, they were leaving. And it was, wasn't a surprise, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, because back when I was still working here, the company opened up another facility <clears throat> much bigger than the facility here uh, out on the east coast of uh, the country and so that was in my mind thinking that they're they're planning on shutting this operation down moving everything to a cheaper place for them to operate 
And, you know, it took a little while to happen, but it did eventually happen. It was my intention to stay with the company at least one more year. That's what I wanted to do. I had some goals I was working towards, and I figured I would be able to accomplish those goals if I stayed at least one more full year with the company. Uh, but then I decided with all the changes that I was seeing to put in my resignation and leave. And I don't regret that at all. Uh, there's a lot that I can go into, a lot more I could go into. Uh, that job was a very good job. It was one of the best jobs I had uh, for the first couple of years there. Second couple of years, things changed quite a bit and uh, the job became really stressful. And I, I don't have any regrets about the job and I don't have any bad feelings about the owners or the managers or anybody there. Sometimes jobs change and we either roll with those changes and adapt or we don't and we move on and I chose to move on. And I think at the time it was a good decision. Although my coworkers were really questioning me about leaving, they, they, would, they would ask me every day, several times a day, what are you gonna do for work? And I would tell them, there's jobs out there. There's jobs everywhere out there. And uh, I live in a van, I don't have a rent payment. So yes, I would probably be going down and pay if I went to another job, but um, you know, I had a little bit of money saved up and I'll be fine, I'll get by somehow. I don't talk about what I do for work uh, very much here, except to channel members. So if you're a channel supporter with uh, YouTube memberships or Patreon, uh, you may have heard me talk about this before, but uh, I, I do do some gig work uh, as well as YouTube. So there it is out in the open. There's both of my sources of income. And the reason I don't talk about them is kind of the same reason as I was getting a little bit annoyed with my coworkers when I put in my resignation uh, with the company here uh, back then is that people have this mindset of there is only one type of job that we should be doing. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, there is no good job. Um, you know, people tell me gig work is not reliable. It isn't. Uh, it's not reliable, uh, but I do it. Uh, YouTube is not reliable, but I do it. Uh, and from my point of view, a regular nine to five job is not reliable. Uh, that's what I have seen in my work history. Uh, nothing has been reliable. And so I just do what I do. And I don't talk about my work just because I have a difference of opinion with people. Um, again, I don't care what I do for work. Uh, as long as it's putting food in my belly and gas in the van, what difference does it make uh, what your job is? I don't need a job title. I don't need any uh, special kind of perks. I just need a paycheck every week. And uh, so that's why I don't talk about work. Uh, but today has me thinking about work and thinking about uh, a job that I really liked here uh, that just kind of up and left and I feel bad for the co-workers that I had here there were some really good people that I worked uh, with here that uh, just found out one day that they were not gonna have a job in a few weeks and uh, just reminds me that at least from my opinion uh, nothing is secure so we do the best we can and just try not to worry about all the little stuff at least that's my point of view the last few years. Well, that's enough talking about a subject that I don't really care to talk about, but there it is in case anybody was interested. And I should probably get to doing something with this new mattress, except it's still a little bit warm out, so I don't really want to do any physical labor today. Uh, so how about we uh, go find a place to just take a little walk somewhere. This is another one of my old haunts. Uh, this is Celebration Park. It was just at the edge of town here in Federal Way. And when I first came here to the Seattle area, I would hang out at this park if I just needed a place to sit for a little while and park up. Uh, there's restrooms here and trash cans and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're at the soccer park now, but over on the other side uh, are a bunch of baseball diamonds and a big, huge trail uh, system. The first time I came here, 
I started walking the trail and I wound up in the next town over without realizing that this was such a long trail. But uh, ni nice park, uh, nice place to be. I haven't been here in quite a while. It is a little bit warm, so I am not feeling like doing too much physical activity. I did want to take a walk, but uh, I think I'm just going to use this nice quiet parking area. Well, somewhat quiet. There are some cars that run by occasionally here, but I think I'll use this parking area to uh, get the bed straightened out. It's got to be done sooner or later. This is nice. I thought I'd give this a try now that it's on the mattress. I tried it in the store, of course, but that was directly on the hard floor. Uh, this feels much better, and I was expecting that, of course. So, happy. Let me get this uh, put back together, because I'm probably going to want to take a nap. Uh, heat, any bit of heat uh, just zaps me. And I know it's only 82 degrees, but I'm feeling zapped. <laughs> and just like that, we are all back together again. Uh, don't ask me what I did with the old mattress. I guess I can tell you. I took my serrated bread knife out, I cut it down into chunks, and then I taped those chunks together, rolled them up so that they weren't quite as cumbersome, and then I dispersed them out into several trash cans here at the park. Uh, it's the only thing I can think to do with it. Uh, there was a time that I gave a mattress to a homeless person, um, but that was a new mattress. I bought it and it was just a little bit too dense for me, and so I just asked, gave it away. Uh, that one was in such bad shape that I didn't feel like asking somebody if they would want it. I just thought, no, I'm not, I'm not going to ask somebody if they want this. It's like asking them if they want half of a, you know, half-eaten sandwich or something. It's kind of rude, I think. So I just decided to take care of it. So it's been taken care of. Um, I just realized that I have not had another cup of coffee. I've had one cup of coffee all day and a small one at that. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to make another one, at least not for a while, not until it cools down today. I'm just going to stick to water uh, because it's still fairly warm. Maybe, maybe because I've been moving around. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. did I forget that I had ice cream in the freezer? It's a warm day. It's a day for ice cream. This is not as good as coffee, but uh, this is second best.